service tonight. And uh, our numbers are a little thinned out tonight because a bunch of people have left for the holidays. And, and uh, Andrew and Cheryl are over in Indiana with his parents. So, But we're glad you're here. And this is a wonderful, wonderful season of the year. And uh, the <coughs> prayer meeting before Thanksgiving is always special. I hear that from a lot of you. It's always a special time. So we're going to trust the Lord to help us here tonight. So good to have you tonight. So good to have Dwayne with us, Christy's husband. Welcome. So glad to have you. And good to see Jonathan and Amy come in back there and their two little ones. And uh, so Dave and Renee get to act like grandparents tonight. It's not the only time they do. They've got other grandchildren. <laughs> They're those, those are some they don't get to love on every day. So, uh, so glad to have you. Good to see you all. Let's pray together. Lord. Thank you for the privilege of being in your house, and we commit this service to you and ask that you would help us. We want to give you thanks, and we offer, offer our thanks to you for so many things. Help us to do it adequately, we pray. We don't want to be stingy. We don't want to be self-centered. We don't, we don't want to be ungrateful. So help us to be thankful people, and we'll praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, Rick's coming to lead us. Let's get our songbooks and join together and sing together as he leads. Actually, just get your chorus books and let's turn to chorus number 160. 160. <laughs>
well of all the things we ought to be thanking him for, that certainly should top our list, should it? Uh, salvation is so precious. And every once in a while, I just stop and think about where would I be if I didn't know, if I didn't know about the Lord, if I didn't know the plan of salvation. If I was one that had no knowledge, and uh, <clears throat> you've heard me tell many times, but my mother was that way as a child, <coughs> didn't know anything. Her mother one time told her, rebuked one of her sisters for doing something ugly, and, and uh, my grandmother said to my mother's sister, you need to be careful, God in heaven keeps a record of the bad things we do. And, uh, he smoked my mother. And later she, she got her, her mother aside privately and said, Mom, tell me about God keeping a record of the bad things we do. She said the only time she ever heard the name of God was profanity in her home. But God wonderfully saved her and it changed the whole course of her life. <laughs> and I'm so thankful I wouldn't be here tonight except that God Save my mother. And I'm so very grateful. Well, we want to pray together and uh, and certainly, certainly, thanks. Thanks should rise to the top. Should the brother Loper, would you lead us tonight as, as we pray? And uh, thanks <coughs> should certainly be something on our hearts as we as we look to the Lord tonight. There are several requests that I want to mention. Uh, Rob Scott has surgery in the morning, uh, early in the morning, so we want to remember Rob as we pray and ask the Lord to help him through this surgery. Uh, the Sankeys plan to be here tonight, but uh, Brother Sankey is, as you know, ongoing breathing issues, and uh, he went to the doctor today, and the doctor was kind of concerned his, his cough was returning, and, and Shortness of breath and so forth. He's got this lung condition. So the doctor said, I don't recommend you go out. You're susceptible to infection and so forth. So he said, I, and, and I bless his heart. I, I, I know he would be here. He said, every time I can't be there, it's just like a dagger in my heart. <laughs> I wish everybody felt just as urgent about that as Brother Sankey does. But let's pray for a physical touch for, for <coughs> Sister Sankey has been having some back issues, having an MRI yet this week, I believe, maybe Friday, and uh, trying to figure out what's going on. So, and that may lead to surgery. So, let's remember the Sankey. Sherry Martin only is home from the hospital, and we want to continue to remember Sherry trying to recover from pneumonia, and Frank has struggled as well, so let's remember them tonight. The Albertsons continue to need our prayers. Let's pray that God would give Sister Albertson the special touch that she needs. Uh, there's a lot of traveling, a lot of miles. Uh, I mentioned last week we went down to Tennessee uh, early in the week. Was that last week? I guess it was. The time just kind of muddies up, you know. <laughs> and uh, coming back, <clears throat> we got stopped on Jellico Mountain. We were almost, almost at the top of uh, there's a an exit called Stinking, <coughs> Stinking Creek Road. <laughs> and that's where we were. We were at Stinking Creek Road. And it was a stinking situation. But a, a terrible wreck. A terrible wreck. And uh, shut down the interstate. We spent three hours uh, sitting, mostly sitting. It moved just a little bit and we would sit for 30 minutes. And, and uh, so I was, I was very thankful when we got down, coming down Jellico Mountain about halfway, we saw where, in fact, I, I, Tim Samper, I think it was, told me somebody saw that account on my marriage, it was. Was it a molasses truck? Or maple syrup. Maple syrup, yeah, okay, maple syrup truck that apparently dumped his load because there was just a whole bunch of that absorbent stuff they put. I mean, it was just a cloud of dust when we drove through it. And that was why apparently they, they had to put it on the road for that. But, but I said, when I got the other side of that after sitting for three hours, I couldn't go anywhere. Got home at three o'clock when we should have been home at 11, 11.30. But I said, well, <coughs> I am thankful I wasn't involved in the rain. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we, we can give God <clears throat> thanks. A lot of miles traveled. Let's ask the Lord to touch all of these. We want to continue to remember the Litchfields. 
Um, we took the check, several of you gave money uh, to help them, and I took it by on Monday, and they were so very grateful. And did say that their son seems to be doing some better, uh, has cancer in, in treatments at Children's Hospital, but uh, you know, the tentacles of that go out to a lot of different things. There was something going on they didn't know what when they decided it was a yeast infection uh, that was giving him complications. So, uh, but that's been corrected or being corrected, so let's continue to remember the Litchfields. Yes, Rick. I want to just thank the people for giving. We ended up with almost $600. Yes, yes. Almost $600. And uh, so we were very, very grateful for that. And I they, they were, he expressed that when I gave it to him. When, when he was receiving it, he didn't even know what it was. It was in an envelope from Rick. And, but uh, he certainly said thanks so very much. So. All right. Any other requests you would like to mention tonight? All right. I, we, we pray together here. And I want us to do that tonight as Brother Loper leads us. But I want to challenge you. In this prayer time, just in your, you can do it silently if you want to. You can do it out loud if you want to. But I want you to find something to give thanks to the Lord for. And we're going to have opportunity to do that publicly uh, in a few moments. But this is a good time just between you and God to say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Let's stand together if we pray. Brother Loper leads. Lord Jesus, we're sure glad that you're yes, on the throne yes. tonight. We're Thank so you, glad Lord. that you are the rock that inspires who we are. Praise the Lord. We're thankful, Lord, that you're Amen. beginning from the end of this Lord. season Thank where we celebrate Thank our you, thankfulness. We yes. put you at yes. the top yes. and your plan of salvation. Oh, God, we give you so praise. You Blessed be the name of the Lord. Son, Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen.
We tried that you would rid the heavens and cover the heavens. Lord, you are looking me. You have the grace that we need tonight. And I pray, oh God, that you would demonstrate that on our behalf. Lord Jesus, we can't do it in our own strength. We can't do it in our own might. We don't have the intellectual ability. We don't have the financial ability. We don't have the resources at our disposal. But Lord, what we need is you and all God. We pray that you would once again pour your spirit out upon us. Oh God, once again turn America back towards you. Lord Jesus, I pray that you would not just do that in our nation, but do that in our church. Oh God, remind us again, I pray. Stir up our hearts, oh God. Help us to draw closer to you. Lord Jesus, I pray that you would help us to be more than just a warm bodies in a pain. Oh God, would you give us a passion and a fire? Would you give us, oh God, a holy seal that takes after you? We're within. trusting you. Lord Jesus, I yes. pray that you yes. would do it. Bind our hearts together in love, we pray. Help us to be as obedient children to you. Father, be in a service tonight. Help every aspect. And may we be uh, your sheep, Lord, the people of your pasture. Don't leave us alone, O oh God, but be busy with us tonight. In Christ's name we pray. Praise the Lord. Amen. God has heard our prayer tonight. Thank you, Brother Loper, for leading us. And, uh, I told you Sunday, I just, I just feel such a sense of warmth and comfort when I begin to thank the Lord. Yes. Don't think I ever feel closer to the Lord than when I give Him thanks. Yes. Amen. Let me mention <clears throat> several re uh, announcements tonight. Andrew sent me a text here. Let me just make sure I don't forget anything. Uh, there is <clears throat> Thanksgiving meal on Thanksgiving. If you want to participate in that, uh, you can sign up. There's a sign-up sheet on the table out here. And you can talk to the Wilsons if you have questions. They're kind of heading that up. So, uh, <coughs> Tim, tell me what time that is. 12.30. 12.30. Yeah. All right. So keep that in mind if you want to participate in that. And then next Tuesday on the 28th from 1 to 6 is going to be a setup time for the drive through Christmas program. As you know, we've got arches. We set up and put lights up in the manger seat and all those things. There's a lot of work. And uh, we're going to start that on Tuesday, the 28th from 1 to 6. And uh, then on Tuesday the 12th, is Christmas dinner. That will be our Wednesday evening, or our midweek, I should call it, uh, service. That week is going to be our Christmas supper on Tuesday, the 12th. So keep that change in mind. And then there are several things happening in December. Kids program, caroling, Christmas Eve service, watch night service. All of that is on the e-bulletin. So uh, you can go online and uh, and. I, I don't know if you've looked at that lately. But you need to just go look at it. Just see how good a job Tim Wilson is doing on putting that together. A beautiful job. So uh, be sure and go on the e bulletin and you can get a lot of that on our website as well as Facebook. So keep all of that in mind. Uh, another thing Andy is asking me to ask you to do is to share the drive through ad on Facebook. So if you have Facebook, it's just the most recent post, and uh, I'm assuming that would be on the <coughs> church's Facebook page. Is that correct, Tim? And then you go on there and share that? Is that correct? I'm not sure. I'm not sorry. sure. He can do those websites, but he's like me. He's not sure about how to share that. Is that it? Burlington Bible Church Facebook. And there's a post about it. And if you share it, that, that draws the, the audience. That's the way I understand it. So if that's not right, just leave me in my ignorance. <laughs> but share it. That's what he's saying. Share the drive through ad on Facebook. It'll help spread the word. Also, there, we always put out poinsettias in, uh, in honor or memory of family that you would like to honor or memorialize. So if you want to bring those, you feel free to do it. Uh, we always put a sticker on it to say who is it's in honor of or in memory of. If you want to do that yourself, you can do that. 
If, uh, if you want us to do it, you can give us $15 and we will make sure that it gets done for you. So keep that in mind. All right, I think that's all of the announcements Andrew asked me to mention. So uh, hopefully, hopefully, I feel a little bit like I'm a one-armed paper hanger, you know, when Andy's not here, so. <laughs> all right, now, <clears throat> on, on this, this midweek service, we always do it uh, where everybody is encouraged to give something, if it's just one word, something that you're thankful for. So uh, we're going to do that in just a moment, but I, I, we usually, we usually uh, do our testimonies first. And, and when I say everybody, I mean everybody. We want everybody to. If you don't want to, we're not going to feel bad or uh, shame you if you don't. But uh, we're going to give at least every, uh, everyone an opportunity. It can be longer than one word, but if you want to just make it one word, that's okay. Something you would like to give thanks for. And obviously... Uh, for you that have heard my list over the years, I have several pages of things that I give in my Thanksgiving list. I'm not going to do that tonight, all right? So I'm going to do one thing. All right, so uh, we'll do that right after. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about thanks first. And uh, <clears throat> I won't be long. My wife reminded me coming up to prayer meeting, she said, now you know how dark it is already, and everybody's already feels like they're on their way to bed, you know, by this time when it's been dark so long. So, so she's telling me not to be too long, so I'm going to try to be a, an obedient husband tonight and not, and not be too long. Let me ask you, does it make any difference at all for you to be thankful? I, uh, I'm of the opinion that when it comes to the giving of thanks, God is giving us an opportunity to change and transform our life. I believe genuine thanks will go a long ways toward doing that. So I want to give you several benefits of being grateful. The first benefit of being a grateful person is it will increase your personal happiness. We've kind of been conditioned to think that happiness is the result of happenings. Happiness is the result of circumstances that are pleasant or things happening like we would like for them to happen. We're happy with them happening that way. You know? But really, happiness is determined by attitude far more than it is circumstances. I think we can prove that if we just logically think about it because you have known, I have known, maybe we have all been in that pattern at some point in our lives where maybe everything we needed or wanted or thought we could ever desire, we had. Or we knew somebody that had everything and they were the most unhappy people. <laughs> it takes more than that, doesn't it? We know it does. So happiness is really determined by attitude, how we see things. It's what enabled the Apostle Paul to write from prison, having been put in prison for the gospel's sake. And he said, rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice <laughs> from prison. He was happy not because of, but despite being in prison. Happiness or thankfulness, rather, will increase your personal happiness. Secondly, the second benefit of being a grateful person is it'll improve your witness for the Lord. <clears throat> I think a noticeable countenance of happiness uh, or thankfulness and joy <laughs> will make us a better witness for Jesus. Do you think, do you, <laughs> there are probably not a one of us that had been caught in this somewhere along the line, but do you think it's the best witness for, as a Christian, for me to be the most complaining one in the checkout line? <laughs> I really don't think that's the best witness, do you? Now, there have been a few times when something was happening, and maybe I got in that mode, you know. But the Lord has a way of jerking us out of it, doesn't he? And say, now wait, son. 
we do have something this world doesn't. <laughs> so many in this world don't know, thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. <coughs> you know, Peter wrote, and he said in Second in First Peter chapter 2, having your conversation honest among the Gentiles or those that didn't know the Lord, that whereas you speak, they speak against you as evildoers. So you have your conversation or you're living among those that don't know the Lord and they may speak of you as evildoers, yet they may by your good works, which they shall behold. Glorify God in the day of visitation. <laughs> That's an amazing verse. God is telling us we're going to have our life, our conversation. That word means more than just the words we speak, but our, our associations and our work and our life among those Gentiles or those unbelievers. And yet those unbelievers can see our good works, the things they behold in us. And I think Thanksgiving would be a big part of that. They would see and glorify God. It'll increase your happiness. It'll improve your witness. Third, being grateful will enhance your relationships. Thankfulness is good for relationships. It's good for family relationships. It's good for marriage relationships. It's good for church relationships and workplace relationships and organization relationships. <laughs> Thankfulness enhances relationships. If you don't believe it, Put it, to, put it to the test. In one of those relationships, as a husband, I'll say that because that happens to be what I am. One of the things I am. Be a thankful husband. As a wife, I think I can talk about her. <laughs> be a thankful wife. As a child, be a thankful child. As a parent, be a thankful parent. It'll improve your relationships. Andrew mentioned this on Sunday, and I'm not going to go through the verses. But if you read the epistles of the, the Apostle Paul, you read from Romans, from Corinthians, from Ephesians, from Philippians, from Colossians, and from Thessalonians. In all of those epistles, he starts it off by saying, when I think about you, I thank God. Wow, what an example. It will increase your happiness. It'll improve your witness. It'll enhance your relationships. And finally, it'll solidify your relationship with God. Maybe that's the most important. Somebody said God lives in heaven above and in a humble, grateful heart. I think it's true. I have an overwhelming need to be thankful to God. I believe it's part of the spiritual constitution that God gives us as human beings. A need to offer thanks to God my creator, God my father, Jesus my elder brother, the Holy Spirit my comforter. And it improves your relationship. So, you say, how can it happen? If thankfulness makes you a happier person, <coughs> makes you a better witness, enhances your relationships with others, and solidifies your relationship with God, well, I could spend more time here than I ought to, so I'm just going to give you these real quickly. How can it happen? Well, first, you have to remember and acknowledge that everything you have is a gift from God. Everything you have, I must acknowledge, is from the is from the generous hand of God. Well, the earth and everything that's in it is on loan to us. God the Creator. Well, God help us to recognize that everything we have. Every good and perfect gift is from above. The second way you can develop thankfulness is to stop complaining. Now that 
it's hard, isn't it? <laughs> it's not hard to find something to complain about, is it? Ouch. Anybody else want to say it? Go ahead. <laughs> Stop complaining. You know, <clears throat> sometimes we talk about fasting. Fasting, missing a meal, not eating. And the Bible teaches that. <laughs> I've, I've often wondered if maybe we should go on a six weeks fast. Maybe, maybe between now and Christmas or now and New Year's. Let's say between now and New Year's, we're going to go on a fast from complaining. <laughs> oh my. I don't think, I thought I heard somebody say, I don't think I could do it. No. <laughs> uh, try it. Maybe, maybe we ought to just uh, appoint some complaint checkers. Then <laughs> you want to serve on that committee? <laughs> Quick complaint. I'm talking about how to be thankful. Third, I need to develop, develop the daily discipline of giving thanks. You know, I think it takes a little work, it takes a little effort, a little discipline, but to make Thanksgiving a daily habit. Speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart unto the Lord, giving thanks always in all things unto God and the Father in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Always must be a key word in that verse, giving thanks always. Well. Lord, help us to be truly thankful people. Well, we're going to give you that opportunity tonight to do that publicly. I'm going to start, and I'm going to give thanks for what's at the top of my list this year, and that is I'm thankful for my wife. All right, Tim, you're next. Well, I was going to say my wife as well. And I'll also say my family, um, just from the, the vivacious five-year-old to the artistic 19-year-old, it's just a beautiful season in our family. And it's so exciting just to see the children grow and develop and Amen. just so thankful. Never a dull moment in the Wilson household. <laughs> I meant to mention before we started, thank you, Tim, for that. You can stand up and do this if you want to, or you can sit there where you are. It doesn't matter. All right, Aiden, you're next. Thanks for Christmas. Christmas. Good. All right, Levi. Presents. Wonderful. <laughs> presents. Yes. Oh, I wanted to be thankful for my, my children as well, because they're such a big part of our family, and I'm thankful for my husband, too. Good. All right. I'm thankful for my family and my friends and for God's leadership in my life. Amen. Yeah. Uh, I was going to say the same thing along with my to my family and friends. All right. I'm thankful for God's mercy and grace. Amen. Mm -hmm. Oh, me too. Mm -hmm. Me too. All right, brother, we'll start on this end. Go that direction. Well, I had a long thing here, and I, I have to say I'm thankful for my wife, or I'll be a backslider. <laughs> so I am thankful. <laughs> we got this started. So we got this. <laughs> um, I was thinking about something that isn't necessarily in the thankful department, but I was, I used to tell my grandchildren that were around in, in another setting, I said, don't complain about what you don't have, celebrate what you do have. Yeah. And uh, yeah. I, I thank God that um, I am in debt to many people because they cared enough to work in my life and yes. I'm glad I've gotten to invest in other people's Amen. lives. Amen. And I'll tell you what this lady would say if she could uh, verbalize it. She's always thankful for family. Yes. Yes. And uh, I think she thanks all of you for her family we too. Are. We and are. So, uh, we are. We and, are. Uh, yes. That gets included in yes. yeah. Amen. We're so happy that we're part of yes. Sister Witt's family. Yes. Amen. I'm thankful for uh, his mercy and grace and his faithfulness. Yes. I find that 
find myself getting up with increasing frequency and being overwhelmed with the things on my plate. But I am grateful for His grace and His yes. enablement to move the tasks that are before me. Amen. Amen. All right. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm uh, thankful for his love in my life and also for his beautiful creation. Amen. Good. Doug? Somewhere in the Bible that says you'll know them by the love that they show each other. Yeah. And I'm grateful for the love in this church. Yes. yes. I often said I'm grateful for the prayer life in this church. But that is just an outgrowth of the love. Amen. Amen. Praise God. John? Mine is similar in a way is I am grateful that I have come to age. I won't say all, but <laughs> Doug, you better be careful there. <laughs> You're awful close. <laughs> to see how valuable that is. Amen. Thank you for thank you for that. Andrew? Thank you for the church and excited to be here. Amen. Good. Good. Amen. 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 Good. All right. Let's come back here, Patty.
your faith. All good gifts comes from God. Mm -hmm. And I, it's really hard for me to pick one or two items and be thankful for because I'm, I'm truly thankful for every single thing. Yes. And it would be a very long list if I went through mm -hmm. everything. But um, one thing I am at the top of my list would be I'm thankful for Jesus Christ. Yes. Without him, I don't know what would, how it would be without Jesus. But I'm also thankful for my family. But I also I find I find small things in life that entertain me and it brings me happiness and it brings me joy. You know, in, in, in God's creation, it, His creation has always fascinated me in, in everything that He's created. And um, I know one year the kids, the girls went out and located some baby possums that the mother had been hit on the road and they were still in the pouch and they brought them in. Well, we can save them and we did. And we can raise them until they were like half grown or more. But they can bring them in and play with them and pet them and give them baths and just everything, you know. And it, it seems funny, but you know, God created something Absolutely. as ugly as a possum. But <laughs> so very helpful to our, our, our world, you know. And, you know, it's just the small things. You wouldn't think that that little possum would be any good, but they're so good for the environment, and you really do want them around. But, you know, you, but you just have to sometimes find the joy in something. Absolutely. You know, find the good in something. But I'm just really thankful for all that God has done and for the many blessings that he's given to us. But um, my family, in, in material gifts, my family is my Cousins? Yes, wonderful. <coughs> hey, I remember that being a highlight when I was his age. All right. Family. Family? All right. All right. Amy?
Amen. Amen. Thank you, Amy. Marvin? There's many things to be thankful for. I don't know which one to start with first, but I'm thankful for my family, first of all. Thankful for the church and thankful for the family salvation. And as Tim mentioned, thankful for memories. I was sitting yes. last night with my niece and nephew, the Zones, passing through, and we were talking about all the memories we had with my wife cooking Christmas dinner and all the kids together. What memories? What wonderful memories? Yes. And then I was thinking the other night, I'm thankful for relatively good health and the fact that I'm even still alive. Yes. I'm thankful yes. for that. Yes. But I was thinking after I had my eye surgery this, this, this year, my vision has been perfect. And I was out the other night, I went to get some food, and I got on the road that there were no laid markings, and it started to rain. And I said, Dear Lord, help me. I can hardly see the road at all. And I got to thinking, I am so thankful for highways with laid reflectors. It's a big difference, that's for sure. So, a little things to be thankful for. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Marvin. All right, let's go back here. Carol? Is there one more back here? She was still. She, she was wasn't finished. I apologize. I'm so sorry. Becky always gives me something to challenge me. Yeah, Thank you. Bill? I'm thankful for God's joy and peace to be here. Praise the Lord. Trina? I'm thankful for the death and help of the Lord here in the All right. I'm thankful for God's love. Amen. Yes. Jesus, 
relative my family, but I'm also thankful for the reality that we can boldly approach the Lord. Yes. 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 Amen. 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 And he's here. Praise God. Rick? Caught myself today talking to somebody on the phone. And just, he was asking what we're going to do for Thanksgiving. I said, well, we're going to have some of the family started sharing a little bit about the family. Oh, I just realized how blessed that we are. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. And he even told me, he said, Rick, you're blessed. Mm -hmm. and, I, and it really made me think, because I know he's, his family split and all of that. And I kind of felt guilty to say, oh, my stuff, I've done that. And just thankful what God has given me. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. And Mary is just a tremendous lady that I get to live with. And so thankful for the <coughs> testimony and the person that she is. Amen. Praise God. Mary? I have that so often. These last few days of the song, I have found a friend in Jesus. Mm -hmm. everything to yeah. me. Yes. And, and I think I lost all the wonderful blessings of life that I have. Mm -hmm. Just, I don't ever want to lose Jesus. Mm -hmm. He's everything for me. Praise God. Mm -hmm. so Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. Christy, you'd like to participate? Here. Okay, I'm a crier. That's okay. <laughs> That's it, so am I. I. I'm so thankful for my husband, who's so good to me. Yeah, mm -hmm. good, good. I'm thankful that I was raised by a mother who's a Christian. Good. And has shown me value. Amen. <laughs> and all that. I'm so thankful for God's grace and love. Amen. Amen. And the beautiful music. I just, I love music, and it's just inspired my soul. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate God for bringing me here and I appreciate all of you. Amen. Praise God. So glad to have you, Christy. Yes, yes. Dwayne, you, we, we invite you to be a part. Okay. I'm thankful for my good health and family. Mm -hmm. yes. Amen. Yes. Wonderful. Yes. Wonderful. Yes. Didn't want to put him under the spot, uh, under the <laughs> pressure because it's the first time he's been here, but we're glad he's here. Yes. So glad. Yes. Amen. Yes. Let's start with Steve. Thankful for um, Corinne and our family, uh, the kids he's given us, and uh, but I'm thankful for God's presence and His provision along the journey. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Corinne. Um, oh my. Thank. Yes. 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 Amen. Amen. <laughs> All around, everything, even even to the, the sufferings. Mm -hmm. yes. Those yes. times are the times that you draw close mm -hmm. to God, and He draws close to you. Yes. Um, and that relational aspect yes, is just sir. so. Special um, that that God would would reach out to us, and that then we can be His hands extended. Yes. Just today, I, would, I was so blessed to be able to do some laundry for my neighbor whose washing machine broke. And I was just, oh, thank you, Jesus, for this opportunity. So I'm just thankful all around. So thankful. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Is he asleep? That's okay. Oh. You want to give something you're thankful for? I Good. That's wonderful. All right, girls. I'm thankful for my house and my job. Amen. I'm thankful that God has prospered with us. Amen. Good. I'm glad for our family, friends, church, and my house to live in. Amen. I'm thankful for our family and friends and our dog. Wonderful. I'm so glad to hear two of you say that. <laughs> I gave them their dog. So. <laughs> Notice mom and dad did not thank you. <laughs> Say that again. Mom and dad did not thank you. Oh, okay. I, I didn't notice that. But <laughs> All right. All right. I'm so glad I can pray. I'm so glad for peace in my heart. And I'm thankful for my family, of course, but I'm thankful for the porch that you built. <laughs> <laughs> and we invite you to come and sit on our porch. <clears throat> Regina said several months or so ago, I want us to have a porch by Christmas. And I said, sweetheart, there is no way in the world that can happen. It just can't happen. Now, I don't have time. There, I don't have the energy. I'm too old. And I told her all the reasons why it couldn't happen. But there it's it. So I'm thankful. <laughs> come sit on it with, on it with us. All right. Well, I think you can see that all of us have way more than we can possibly, possibly express. 
But I think God smiles when we give Him thanks. And it's all because of Him. Everything that we enjoy comes back, comes back to the gift of God. Every good and perfect gift comes from Him. And I thank Him. Come to the piano. Let's, let's close with the, the chorus. There's a roof up above me. I have shoes on my feet.